let's look at something like benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is an interesting naturally occurring compound. It occurs in things like cranberries up to the level as much as 12 percent by weight. But we see that's a weak acid and it has one ionizable group. Let's just refer to this as HA. So when it hits a solution of water, some of it will dissociate to give us hydrogen ions and some the conjugate base or the anion form. We look up in a table, we can find a Ka value. That's 4.202. We're going to need a Ka value, so let's calculate that. That's 10 to the minus pKa, or 4.202. Gives us a value of 6.28 times 10 to the minus 5. Let's calculate the pH of a solution of 1 times 10 to the minus 3 molar benzoic acid. That's the amount we dump in. We don't know how much it dissociates. So that's our CHA. Okay. So our question is what is the pH of this solution? We're going to start with our general equation for hydrogen ion for weak acid dissociation. It's the Ka times CHA minus the H plus plus hydroxide over the analytical concentration of the conjugate base plus H plus minus OH and that's our ratio. Now we apply our chemical intuition and simplify this expression we see that we are going to add a numerical value of the analytical concentration of the weak acid, but there is no conjugate base added, so Ca is zero. Likewise, we notice that the solution is acidic. We are only adding acid. If that's true, then the H plus concentration is going to be much greater than the hydroxide concentration. So for the first approximation anyway, we could throw these terms out. And now this simplifies. Our H plus is equal to Ka times CHA minus H plus over H plus. And if we rearrange that to group terms, we get H plus squared is equal to Ka times CHA minus Ka times H plus. So we have a quadratic equation. And so we can use the roots for a quadratic equation. And recall that in general, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Then the solutions are that x can be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac at square root, and then that sum over 2a. Rearranging to get it in the same format, we have h plus squared. So a is 1, and we see that ka times h plus, if we bring that over on the left, the sign becomes a plus. So the b is just the ka term. And our C is KACHA. When we bring it over on the left hand side, then it, it becomes 
a minus Ka CHA. That is equal to zero. So if we plug in to the roots for our equation, we have H plus is going to be equal to the opposite of Ka is our B term. Now look, we've got a plus and a minus, and when we have a quadratic equation, there can be two roots. Now there's only one that's physically significant in our case. We know we have to have a positive concentration. Our first term is going to be a negative number, so the only way we can end up with a positive number is if we add the next term. So Ka squared minus 4 times a minus KACHA. So this is a plus KACHA over 2A, and now A is 1. So this is minus 6.28 times 10 to the minus 5 minus the square root of the Ka squared plus 4 times 6.28 times 10 to the minus 5 times the analytical concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Square root of that all of that divided by 2. And just running the numbers on the calculator, we get a hydrogen ion concentration equal to 2.21, and the next digits are 1, times 10 to the minus 4 molar. So the pH is equal to the minus or negative 1 times the log of the hydrogen ion activity, and we're going to simplify that and just do the hydrogen ion concentration, and we get a value of 3.655. So that's our pH.